That was nice. Thank you. Um, Mr. Flora, you're done, but um, i got a couple things. Okay, so, yes, you were sitting on the bench out there. I was sitting on the bench out of here. Okay, CD Distinguished Alumni, the athletes come after me. Okay, so I, I think I've extracted, extracted the last splinter from riding the pine out there. I did play baseball. Um, and the balconies that you probably spoke of, and the, well, when I was here, I think there was people just making out up there, quite honestly. <laughs> I'm not sure because I wasn't, unfortunately, supposed to be one of those people But <laughs> yes, I think that's what was going on up there. Um, also, I, I did notice too, um, John Newkirk, he kind of messed me up. I was the youngest person here until John Newkirk got in in 88. So, um, uh, and Stephen Tim, that's the Good afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the Hall of Fame Committee for this honor. And it's only fitting that Mary introduced me. I am indebted to Elle Collins and the Collins family for giving my start to go. Um, I always knew that someday I would be on the stage accepting this honor. <laughs> <laughs> I got good grades. I went to the right schools. I made all the right connections. Opportunities to spell on my lap, and I've never had to struggle to get ahead. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think any of what I just said is true. Oh, no. It's hard to keep a straight face to that. Um, my journey is far different from the one I just described. I'm on it here today uh, to for this award, uh, what I want to do is, is talk to you about uh, being dyslexic and what I went through here at Shawnee uh, uh, with this dyslexia. Uh, the, the staff, and the coaching staff, and the students, and the administration turned around and, and helped me a lot over the year, uh, four years that I was here. Uh, I didn't know what dyslexic was. Uh, some of the teachers and, and the coaches, they, they knew what dyslexic was, but they turned around and, and helped me as much as they you know, possibly can. Uh, the biggest thing is I worked hard at it, and uh, I never gave up. And so that was one of the things. I feel like piece of paper would be great. This would be good one time. Prosperity. I want to thank uh, the Hall of Fame Committee for this honor. We <laughs> return uh, to the Shawnee. Special thanks to uh, Cliff Davis, who put a lot of work into them, like texting and emails. I know he doesn't always fly in, but this is something up here flying, and you know anybody doing the cockpit when he's up there flying 30,000 feet. I come here in different circumstances. All the other honorees and alumni have been here in Springfield. This is my first time back in 45 years to the school. One of the decisions I made is when I um, left Springfield, when I went to college. Uh, Steve and I, along with Cliff, just started to reconnect, and it's been a fun couple of days of talking those stories. Being gone for 45 years, I'd be amiss if I didn't acknowledge uh, some of the people who helped me here. First one is Coach. Good afternoon. It was a pleasure and a privilege to have played a role in the lives of so many wonderful young people. A heartfelt thank you to those who believe that I am worthy of this honor. Thank you. You really got into it, you know. And, uh, you know, you go up into the balcony, the far balcony, and go into the rooms, on the other side of that, and you had the, I think it was the choir room, and then you had some other rooms and going down, and then the Board of Education was located right up there. Plus, the athletic director's office was there, 
and superintendent's office was up there. As a matter of fact, that's a good place because that's where I was interviewed for this job and got it. I liked it. <laughs> and you know, today I see never I see Mr. Smunk, and Mr. Smunk was the superintendent at that time. Once in a while I see him over here in Kroger. Haven't seen him for a while. And uh, I